Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to add serial numbers in Excel. So here I will show you five methods to add serial numbers. The first three methods are very simple and fourth and fifth methods are dynamic to changes. We will discuss it later. So let's look at our first method. In this method, we will write first two numbers. One, two. We will select these numbers and drag down the series for the rest of our rows. In our second method, we will apply a simple formula. In this formula, we will write equal to give the reference of upper cell and write plus one and hit enter. And now we will drag this formula down for the rest of the cells. In our third method, we will use the fill series method. Its shortcut is Alt HFIS. Here we will select the columns and the step value is 1 and the stop value is how many rows we want to fill. So I want to fill 10 rows. So here I will write 10 and hit enter. And here our rows are filled automatically. Now we will use dynamic methods in which we will use functions. So here dynamic means if we update our table then our formula will automatically update and show you the updated result. So fourth we will use the row function. So basically row function gives us the row number of a particular cell. So if I write here is equal to row and close the bracket and hit enter. Then this gives me the row number of this particular cell. Since I want to start my series with one and this row is number four and I want here one instead of this four. So I will update the formula and here I will write minus three and hit enter. I will drag this formula down and our series is automatically filled. Now if I delete or add row, for example, if I delete this row, then you can see our serial numbers are updated automatically. That's why it is called dynamic. Our next function is an aggregate function. So we will write is equal to aggregate, select the function and we want to count. So I will select count. So we will write two here comma five. Here five because if I want to hide any row in the future, then our serial number will neither hide nor be removed. Then you have to give the cell reference of the upper cell from which you want to start the series. We'll press colon. With this our cell reference will be entered. We will freeze our reference cell by putting a dollar symbol. I will close the bracket and write plus one. Here we wrote plus one because we want to start our series with one instead of zero hit enter and I will drag the formula down. This works well. Now if I hide any row, you can see our serial numbers are updated accordingly. So if I will hide unhide, add or delete any row, then our serial number will update accordingly. So these were five methods to add serial numbers in Excel. If you find this video helpful, you can like our content and subscribe to our channel to find more helpful content in the future. Thanks.